Hello and welcome to another video by Geek Together. Today I'll be showing you guys how to create new user accounts in your OpenVPN access server. Obviously, the first thing you want to do is head over to your OpenVPN access server's URL, in my case vpn.geektogether.com, and we want to go to the admin path. So you're going to add a slash admin. So once you're presented with the admin login screen, you want to enter your admin username and password. So once you've successfully logged in to your OpenVPN access server admin console, you want to head over to user management and user permissions. So once you're in the user permission screen to create a new user, you're just going to click inside of the box that says new username. And here we're going to type the name of our new user. In this case, we're going to call our new user John. So we're giving a name, a username. So note what you're entering here is the username. So we'll call the username John Doe. So once you've assigned the user the username, you might also want to assign groups. As of right now, we don't have any groups created. In a subsequent video, I'm going to show you how to create groups. So once you have entered the username, you want to open up the more settings option and you're going to see a whole bunch of settings in here that we can configure for our John Doe user. So the first, the user is using the default authentication method, which is the local authentication. If you have LDAP set up, you can use an LDAP user to authenticate into OpenVPN. And I'm going to have another video as part of this series where you can set up LDAP with your OpenVPN server. So going back to configuring our user, the next option we have here is to set up MFA or multi-factor authentication. It is very important that you are using multi-factor authentication in order to be able to authenticate your users. So once we're done creating this user, we're going to log in as this user and you're going to see how this multi-factor authentication works. So for now, we're just going to enable that in order to secure this John Doe user's account. So the next thing we're going to configure is the user's password. Any password you enter in here can be changed later. So for example, if you were creating this user account for your friend or your spouse, once you enter an initial password, the user can log in and change their password on their own. But as of right now, we're just going to give it a simple password that we can remember. For this tutorial, I'm just going to give the user's password as John Doe as well. So once you have that set up, you can also enable the user to be able to change their password using the CWS access. The CWS is a web portal that the users use once they go to your VPN's URL to be able to log in and download their VPN profiles. I will show you this once we're done creating the user. So we're just going to set this to yes. And you can also enable password strength checking when the user tries to use the CWS to change their password. So we're going to set that as yes as well, because we want our users to use strong passwords. The next thing you can configure in here, you can either have your OpenVPN access server users get their IP addresses or their VPN IP addresses dynamically by using um, OpenVPN's DHCP server, or you can set a static IP address. For now, we're just going to let the dynamic IP address as the configuration because in the subsequent video, I will show you guys how to configure IP addresses for separate groups in OpenVPN or specific IP addresses for every user. So the next thing you want to do is set up access control. So you want to leave this as use NAT for default and you can also allow access to specific networks in your environment. So if you have your VPN server set up, like we'll set up OpenVPN access server. The OpenVPN access server is advanced in a way that you can give users specific access to specific services or networks in your environment. So we can use this option here to be able to give the user access to specific networks in your internal network. So if you only wanted them to get access to the network where you have your, um, your servers or your lab environment, you can do that. Another use case for this is if you want to give users access to your NAS network only and nothing else. So we're just going to leave that as blank for now because I'm going to have future videos talking about access control using your OpenVPN access server. The next thing you can configure in here as user permissions is the VPN gateway and DMZ settings address. We're just going to leave this all as default and we're going to go to save settings. 
and once that's done you're going to update the running server and as you can see our new john doe user is added so now we're going to head back to the open vpn user login page and once we get to this page we're going to try to log in as john doe and if you log in you can see we are presented with a screen to set up our TOTP or multi-factor authentication. So I'm going to use my phone here and scan this code. And once you have that set up, you can see we were able to successfully log in as John Doe. And now we can go ahead and download a profile to use with our OpenVPN client. Thank you for watching. I hope this video helps you to learn how to create users in your OpenVPN access server. If you have any questions, please do not forget to leave it down in the comment section below. Please like the video and also please subscribe to the channel.